Hello everyone, today we're going to show you how to do a transmission fluid change on our R33 GTR. Now in front of us we have some transmission fluid, we have Redline's MT90, uh, it's a good GL4 fluid. Now if your transmission on your GTR is shifting fine, people do not recommend to use the heavy duty shock proof. As a matter of fact, they recommend to just stick with some regular GL4 fluid, but if you have any issues shifting your transmission, then the heavy duty shock proof has been known to have some success to help that. All right guys, we also have some shop towels, a drip pan, we have a pump for our fluid, we have something to take the drain plugs off to fill in the drain one, and we have some Teflon tape to put at the end of those drain plugs and fill plugs to make sure that they don't leak. All right, let's get started. All right guys, we got the GTR lifted up. We used our quick jack system, which works pretty good. We're utilizing the pinch welds, but we have an adapter. So the GTR is about 3,000 pounds, plus or minus a few hundred pounds. And this quick jack system I have can lift up to 5,000 pounds. But what we're doing is we're using some jack stands for redundancy, because we always want to be double safe in case we have any failures or anything like that. So now that we have the car jacked up, we're gonna go underneath and we're gonna start working on stuff. But I have a quick recommendation and warning and disclosure. If you're gonna be lifting up your car, be safe. Read all the manuals, all the instructions, adhere to all the cautions and warnings, and just make sure that you take care of yourself. If you don't feel comfortable, get a professional, but at the end of the day, just make sure that you're safe and you follow all the safety and precautions in order to make so that you are. All right, so we have our drain plug right here, and then we have our fill plug right there, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the fill plug first and then we're gonna take the drain plug off. And I'm using a breaker bar because I read that these could be a little tough and we're gonna get it loose and go from there. Depending on the angle, you might have to get a ratchet in there because of where the plug is at so you can get the right angle to take it off. Okay, we've got the plug loose and now with my hand, I'm gonna twist it and I just wanna make sure nothing comes out. I'm gonna do. And it's out. All right, guys, plug looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do the drain plug. Very tight. Gosh darn it, that's so tight. So when it came to the drain bolt, I had to use a very long breaker bar. It was very hard to take off, but I got it off. But in case you guys are having trouble, you're gonna have to use a very long breaker bar sometimes to get these bad boys back off. All right, let's take it off. So the drain plug is out and it has a magnet. So you'll see a little bit of metallic shavings on there. Seeing a little bit is okay. Seeing a lot is not good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this off and then we're gonna get ready to put it back on. So I tried the Teflon tape and it just came off when I put it on. So I'm scraping the old RTV off and we're gonna put some new RTV on. And I guess that's the way you do it. And that's all she wrote, guys. Let's go ahead and put it in. Okay, so the torque spec is a little bit of a mystery. If you own an R33 GTR, then you know that we're missing a lot of torque specs. So I did about 45 foot pounds and I looked back at the original video and I saw that there was about two or three threads sticking out. So that's what I did. So we have the new RTV, we went ahead and put it down about the same way that it was. And we're now gonna start filling it up with fluid. Okay, so I've been pumping fluid into the fill port, just sticking this nozzle in there and pumping, but I'm on my fourth quart and I've got my fill plug ready to go. And whenever I'm pumping and it starts to drip out real quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up. All right, I went ahead and put the fill plug when it was dripping and there's some RTV that I need to clean up. I need to put a little bit more RTV and then we're gonna be done here soon. All right, and that's it. So my GTR took about 4.5 quarts. Um, and as you saw, it only dumped out, I think about four quarts. So at the end, we got some new fluid and we add a little extra 
And if you guys know the exact quantity, because again, it fluctuates, the manual could say one thing and everything. I believe somebody said 4.1 and then somebody said 4.8, but I'm curious to hear what you guys say. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. There's a lot more DIY videos for the Skyline, so make sure you watch them. You take care, stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon.